Hey guys, it's Kathy the Hopeful Artist, and I know it's been a while since I've put up a video, but I've been having some medical issues I've been having to deal with, as always, and, um, and I'm back in the art studio, so I'm so excited about that. I will say this, I did start to make a video, and I really wasn't happy with the outcome of what I did or the footage, so I scrapped that one and uh, started working on this. I am finding that I seem to work better in smaller areas. Like if I have a smaller sketchbook, it just seems to be a little better for me than something larger where it's a little more contained. I wanted to do a pelican. I live in South Florida. I grew up in South Florida in Fort Lauderdale and uh, there's lots of pelicans here and they're one of my favorite birds. I really do love birds and I do draw them and paint them quite a bit. And um, I just thought that uh, this would be a fun thing to paint. I'm using my uh, Kiritake watercolors here. Um, uh, and I just uh, took a picture online of a pelican as my reference. I, I really like working with these watercolors. They blend really nicely and I like the way the colors come out. I also use some uh, white acrylic near the end to add some highlights and um, and some gouache as well so it's kind of a, a mix of all three different types of paint and this is watercolor paper it's a watercolor sketchbook it's really nice I was reading a book on painting and drawing birds and the author said it was really important to depict them in their natural environment um, and and to keep in mind the time of year well in South Florida it's always sunny and we don't have a lot of seasonal changes here it does get a little little chilly in the winter time um, by about you know a few degrees it might get into the 60s but for the most part the weather here doesn't change too much it's always green it's always sunny flowers are always blooming it's it's very nice there's pelicans here all year round uh they don't migrate as far as i know now in the winter time we do get some more cardinals and blue jays and things like that but i think this is like the natural habitat of pelicans obviously near, near the ocean and everything and you see them a lot in the bahamas and in the islands and, and a lot of them here what I did is I wanted to obviously depict the pelican uh, near the ocean because that's where they would be. There's a, a couple piers um, where I live on the beach and there's lots of pelicans there. People go fishing on the pier and there's quite a few here in Fort Lauderdale and Boca uh, where I live in Delray and you'll see tons of pelicans there flying around and they're really big birds and uh, they're amazing and they, they're not afraid of the people. They just fly right around them. They'll sit on the dock and perch themselves, wait for, wait for the fish to come in and, and see all the fish coming in around the, around the pier and everything. It's a lot of fun. But they're, they're big birds and I wanted to depict this uh, pelican obviously near the ocean um, because that's where they're gonna hang out. That's how they get their food, they eat fish. And then I added some sawgrass. Now, sawgrass is really more of an Everglades thing, and I live near the Everglades. So I don't know if pelicans hang out in the Everglades. Maybe they might fly over there. It's not that far away from the beach. But I wanted to put in some little sawgrass things because I, I wanted to add, add a little bit of balance to the piece. I could also have put like a dock, like the edge of a dock now that I'm looking at it, which would have looked really cool because that's where I see the pelicans hanging out on the dock. So maybe when I do another one, I'll put a dock at the edge instead of the sawgrass. I think that would be a really good idea. But you know, I, I think um, I depicted it pretty well in, in his natural environment. And I like these paints because they you can blend them if you work with them pretty quickly. They blend really nicely, but they also dry in a reasonable amount of time. You can just add a little bit of water to the palette and make the paints more opaque. 
which is nice. And then you can layer that on top and get a thicker, more opaque look. So you can start off more transparent, translucent, and then build on that if you want to, which is really nice too. So here I'm adding the sawgrass. Obviously I let that blue background dry and I'm still using watercolors and I think they're covering it really nicely. I did not add a lot of water. So it, like I said, has a nice opaque look to that. And there's a lot of sawgrass. I mean, we have things named, named the Sawgrass Mall, the Sawgrass Schools. That's a big name down here. Um, but again, those are usually in the Everglades. Looking at this now, I wish I'd painted a dock or something. It would have probably made a little more sense. But I still wanted to have some kind of uh, balance in the composition here. And, and I thought that was nice at the time. I love birds a lot. I actually had, uh, downloaded a couple bird apps on my phone where you can take a picture and it'll identify the bird for you. I have a huge book of birds, so I don't paint them as often as I should because I really do love painting them. They're relatively easy. You can break them down into easy shapes and they come in so many different colors and varieties. I, I think they're a lot of fun to paint. So of course I'm adding some clouds here to kind of give an environmental feel to it. Like, you know, he's out in the open here as you know, I'm sure people could figure that out anyway, but I like to add my little fluffy clouds. And I really like the way those yellows came out in his, uh, in his bill and in his feathers. I, I think those look really nice, the colors I chose. I kind of stuck with the warmer palette and added some cooler grays to it and then the greens. I, I like the color palette. I think it came out really well. And again, I always like to put the main object of my piece off to the side. I rarely put it in dead center. I learned in art class in high school a long time ago that that was actually better compositionally to kind of offset a little bit. At least that's what my art teacher thought and I agree with her. You know, it doesn't mean I never put things in the middle, but I, I kind of like to offset it a little bit to the side and then have something else kind of balancing that out. But now that I'm looking at it, maybe without the sawgrass, it would have looked kind of cool too. Maybe it looks a little too busy with it. So I'll probably redo it and, and either put a dock or put nothing there. But it was a lot of fun to paint. It took me about an hour, an hour and a half to complete it. And I just wanted to add a little yellow to the clouds to kind of indicate the sun is nearby and kind of reflecting off. We have really nice big puffy clouds here in South Florida. Just to make it look like it's a sunny day a little bit. But I didn't want to put the sun in there because I have so much yellow in the, in the bill and in the feathers and in the thing in the front of his chest. I didn't want to add any more in his feet. I didn't want to add any more yellow to this. I just thought it would have been a distraction. So here's the final piece. I outlined it in black. I'm going to finish that just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. I, I like to do a little bit of an outline. I just, that's just a habit I have. It does make it look a little more cartoony, but I kind of wanted to do that, make him look more like a character. And I thought that outlining it kind of gave it that look. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Kathy, the Hopeful Artist, and I will see you in the next video.